If you use an iPhone, then you must know these 10 iPhone hacks that I'm about to show you guys on this video. These are really, really cool, will make your device look different and will help you do a lot more with your device. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoyed the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It will help the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with AirPods. Did you know that you can actually connect two different pairs of AirPods to your iPhone? So on the same iPhone, two different pairs of AirPods, you simply connect them here from the Bluetooth menu and you will even be able to actually control them separately. So if I go to the control center here and we start playing, so you can see, we can just go ahead and choose where we want to play. So we have chosen the first pair of AirPods, but we have another pair here and you can see it will actually support both of them now what we can do here is tap and you can see the icon here now has changed so we can control the volume from here for both of the airpods at the same time but if we tap and hold here it will take us to this menu and now we have two different sliders where we can separately just control the volume of the different pairs of airpods now this app right here is really interesting, probably one of the most interesting apps that I've seen in a long time. It is called Icon, so what it allows you to do is take a screenshot of your device of the icons that you have currently on the home screen. Once you have done that, just open the app, it will show this screen like this, just tap here and load the screenshot you just took. And once you have loaded the screenshot, you can see what it does right there. It will automatically create custom icons for those apps that you're using. So we can go ahead here and just use like different colors. And we can of course use like different color here for the symbols on the icons. You can see how cool that looks. Now you can use solid colors, you can use gradients, or you can use a screenshot. You can see how good this looks and you can now actually create these icons and save them as images on your photo library. So if we tap right there, then we have the icons. We can go ahead and select here which ones we want to save. And then of course we can go ahead and create these shortcuts from the shortcuts app. So we download these straight to the camera roll and once they're downloaded, you can use them via the Shortcuts app to create custom icons for your home screen. And this right here is probably one of the coolest things that you have seen on an iPhone in a pretty long time. So what we have here is a widget, which is actually dynamic. It rotates all the time on the home screen of your device, and it looks really, really cool. So what we have here are a bunch of apps, which you can actually open from here. So they're not just there, just for show they actually work and you can choose what apps you want to have here and of course a profile picture right there so if we tap on an app you can see we can go ahead and open it from the widget itself it's pretty cool so let me show you guys how to actually set this up so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have set up the transparent background for that widget so it looks much much better that is pretty simple to do you go to your home screen Tap right here, go to the edit mode, go to the last page where there are no icons and take a screenshot. Once you have done that, you go into the app, which is called Quickie. I will leave it, of course, linked right down below in the description of the video. You tap on transparent here, tap here and just load the, the screenshot you just took. Then to find that widget, you go to large right here and tap on add widget and it will show you all kinds of widgets that you can add here we have some pretty cool ones this is the one that we have currently added and you can see here we have the apps you tap right there to add your own profile picture and you can go ahead and of course even edit the apps right here which is really really cool now once you have done all this you go to your home screen and add the widget so here we have quicker you add the widget tap on add and then press and hold here tap on edit widget and just select the widgets you just saved there so it's circle system and then enable the transparent here and choose where you want to position it so it will be for the large one either the top or the bottom once you have done that here you have this really really cool widget for your home screen and now that we have this really nice widget on the home screen let's go ahead and customize the dock as well so for that we're going to use this app right here 
The app is called Dockland and it allows you to customize the dock of your device. So we have all kinds of like different styles right here, which you can pick from and of course customize the dock of your device. My favorite is this one with the like Mac look right here. So what you need to do here is just tap on it and tap on the plus here and load the wallpaper you want to use. So now that we have loaded the wallpaper, you can go ahead and use any of these colors or you can just cancel there if you want to use the default one, which in my opinion looks looks way way better. Now tap the save button right there and you can choose do you want to save it for the home screen or the lock screen. In my opinion you should save it only for the home screen and on the lock screen you just set the wallpaper without the dock part. So tap on save right there now we have it saved. And there we have it, just make sure that when you go to set the wallpaper, don't move the wallpaper around, just set it on the home screen and you have this really really nice look now on the home screen of your device that actually makes the dock of your device look very very different. And as I told you guys, it has a bunch of different styles that you can use which will make the dock of your device stand out and look much much better than the default one. Next up we're moving to some like smaller hacks that you can find within iOS features. One of them from messages. Now this is old but a lot of people don't know about this. So what you can do here when you want to send a message to someone, what you can do is tap and hold the send button and now you can pick on invisible link right there. So you choose that and what it does is that it will actually send this message which will be like this. So it's hidden. So when you send something maybe really important to someone, they can just wait when they're alone on their privacy and then they can tap and see the message just like that iOS has this really nice feature where it lets you quickly remove the background from different pictures. Well, from the Photos app, you have to do that individually for each photo. But there is a trick that lets you do that to a ton of photos together. Let's say 10 or 20 or even more photos. So you go to the photos that you want to do that and you just simply select the photos and then go ahead and save all of these to the Files app. Then when you go to the Files app, all you have to do is tap right there and tap Select. We can go ahead and pick a few different photos that we want to do that. So just pick the photos, a bunch of them, as many as you want, and then tap right here. Actually tap and hold here and you will have quick actions and just tap remove background. And just like that you will have all the photos saved right here with the background removed all with one click. One thing I always wish iOS had is the ability to choose when you want to use the dark mode on certain apps. For example, the Notes app is very hard to use it with a light mode. So I want the Notes app to always be on the dark mode. Well, we can do that pretty easily. Head on to the Shortcuts app and create a shortcut here. Just search for Set Appearance. So there we have Set Appearance and let's just choose here Dark. So tap on Done. Now go to Automations and just go ahead and find here App. So let's find App. There we have it. Go to Choose and let's find the Notes app. Then we have the notes app and go ahead and now search for run shortcut. Search for run shortcut and just choose the shortcut we created. Set appearance and now we're good to go. So what we have here is an automation that will basically set the appearance to dark mode whenever we open that app. So you can see right here we can just choose run immediately so we don't have to give any permissions. So we are on the light mode here as you can see and once I open the notes app it should go to the dark mode and there it goes. Now you can do another really useful trick by choosing what you want to set the volume to when you open a certain app. Let's say there is an app that you want to ha always have the volume turned off when you open that app. Well, go to shortcuts right here and search for set volume. So there we have set volume and then go ahead and choose a percentage here. So let's just turn it all the way down, tap on done and there we go. Now on the automations part, tap the plus button and again choose app here. So let's just find the app where we want to do this. Let's go with the app store here, tap on done and now tap on next and just search for run shortcut and choose the shortcut we just created. Now once you have done that, go again here and make sure that you have run immediately enabled, tap on the dump button and let's just try it out. So here we have the volume all the way up, open the app store app, you can see the volume automatically goes back down. 
Another cool thing that you can do on iOS is go to accessibility here, scroll all the way down and you will have per app settings. What you can do here for your home screens, choose here home screen and app library. You can actually go ahead and just add like a diff different home screen animation. So we will have this animation, which is a default one. But what you can do is just go ahead and choose reduce motion here, turn it on. And now you will have this like fading animation, which in my opinion is much, much better. Now per app settings probably is one of the most underrated features of iOS. What you can do is choose, let's say an app, where you want the text to be bigger, like text messaging apps, you want text there to be bigger. You can go ahead and just tap on add app and let's just choose messages here in this case. So I can choose messages and go here. We have larger text here and we can choose larger text and that will work only on this app. We will have normal text on the other apps while we have larger text on messages. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.